Okay, so this video is actually supposed to come a while back, but uh, due to some issues, I couldn't do the video. And this video was to talk about these other node properties here in the new Inkscape 1.3 beta, which is cool, by the way. I recommend you check that out. So we have these node properties up here, and to be able to effectively use these ones, I'm going to need to draw another shape that doesn't have, you know, like guided, well calculated corners. So we'll do this. Okay, now that that's done, it's doing this because in the last project I did, I reduced the opacity. So it's still the same, and I'm going to increase that back to 100 now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press N to activate the node tool, and I'm going to click on the node here. And you're going to notice here that this first node property here says make selected nodes corner. So basically, what this does is this is not a corner this is a corner right here so when i click on it you see the changes that it makes to it and you see that the box becomes smaller and when you edit one side the other side doesn't move so that's basically the goal you edit one side while the other side doesn't move see if i were to select the next one they say make it smooth if i were to move one side you see that it moves the next it moves the other side that's just basically how it is the other one is just to basically add this handles here to make the notes symmetric see now you've added the handles it's not really much of a difference but yeah it has its differences when these handles are not there and then if you just want to make this round like making it auto smooth you just click on this and basically it just does the same thing only with different applications it has different functions but in this case the functions are the same and this next one, this is actually a new one. They call it straighten line. So in order to use this one, you're going to need to select two nodes. And and as you can see there, when they say it's a straight line, meaning if you select two nodes, it's going to make the line between those nodes straight. So I'm going to select these two nodes here, and I'm going to click on it, and you're going to see that it's going to make them straight. Same as if I... And the way you can also select both of the nodes is by clicking in the middle while you have your node tool activated. So you see I've clicked in the middle and I've selected both of them. And now if I wanted to add handles to both of them, just like we did in the last video where I show you how to shape objects easily with Inkscape 1.3 beta, you just click on add curve handles and as you can see it adds handles here which you can use to edit. Yeah. And that's that about those functions. Now, we're going to move on to the very cool function, which I did in the last video, but let me show you again. So, it's the adding live path effects. And what it does is, it enables you to easily edit objects. So, I'm going to click on it now, and if I pull to this side, as you can see, the radius, the border radius of that side, it just keeps on decreasing. I keep, sorry, I keep on increasing it. So, as you can see, it becomes way more round and that's basically how you use this tool you can go and check out the youtube video which i will link in the description of how to use this tool effectively although it's basically the same thing but that one might have a little bit of context as to why it's easier to use than doing the normal method and with this other tools here let me show you this one is best illustrated using the stroke so if i do this and I remove the fill and I add a stroke. Alright, so I press N. If I click on this one here, it's going to convert the object to path. And as you can see, this object is really a path. As long as you can add this, it's a path. Now, I want to convert the stroke now to a path. You see, before it was an object. Now I want to convert the whole stroke to a path. That's, I click on that. And as you can see, it has all these extra notes here that you can use to edit given different use cases so that's basically how you can use these notes tool here and i'll also reference the first video that i made on these other tools and how to use them and what they do in the description thank you for watching please subscribe so i can release more videos like this it really helps thanks